Hey guys, welcome back. It's time. It's burglar time. It's Pokemon card burglar time. It's it's time that I once again ask for your assistance in in finding the perpetrators here. The the information we're gonna take a look at uh, all of the posts made by TCG Treasure Chest, uh, a game store who was burglarized in recent times. Here, uh, I'm going to. We're going to go through the details, their posts, and I'm also going to, well, I'm going to thank Pause Games for reaching out to me to let me know about this, uh, but also TCG Treasure Chest for providing me with the, the information. So I get a list of items that were stolen, uh, and we have the the full footage that we'll take a look at the end. We're going to go through their posts first, uh, and again, guys, um, it's, it's going to be very hard to identify the individuals that did this, uh, but if everyone can be on the lookout for the items that were stolen, I think that's going to be the key here. Uh, in, in finding these individuals, surely, you know, it, it, very often, uh, almost always, this stuff ends up being sold right away, moved right away, uh, and if it can be traced back to the individuals that did this, I, that's the, that's the best case scenario for everyone. Uh, I think law enforcement needs to do more about this, but I also think this is a good learning lesson. All the all of these are good learning lessons for people that are owning game stores. Uh, it's sad, but in 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 this day and age, it seems like. You essentially need jewelry store level security uh, in order to have a, a trading card business, a physical brick and mortar. Uh, it's it's bad. You're going to have people breaking in. Unfortunately, no, it's going to look like shit to have bars all over the windows, to have like, a, you know, tamper break proof glass. Uh, you need to have the, the, the best possible security glass break sensors, uh, bars on the windows, ideally, because even even if the alarm triggers, uh, you want to make sure that uh, that they're not able to actually uh, steal anything from the location. Uh, and yeah, it's just a, it's an all around loss. It's it's probably unfortunately going to uh, lead to a lot of game stores that are no longer going to exist i mean the, the trade-off and the the threat that you're going to get broken into uh whether you're working there or not i don't know but do we get, do we need to have like the the jewelry store like the double entrance that you have to like buzz to come in and then that way you can't like grab something and run out the door little little trap trap room um but then also just the the fact that the the, the glass breaks have been a huge issue uh, and, and that's just it. I mean, you got to do your absolute best here to get security cameras, uh, and motion detection and alarms and, and all of that stuff. Uh, but even if, uh, even if the perps are, are, are kind of scared off, it's, it's unfortunate because you got to deal with this. Uh, if you have to get law enforcement and everything else, you maybe you have to shut down for a certain amount of time. It's it's not it's not a fun thing. It's hard enough to run uh, a trading card business as it is a brick and mortar store. Um, but uh, but yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's take a look here at the. Um, let me close this. All right. Let's take a look at the posts that were made here. Um, so yeah, sadly, we have been broken into, but thankfully, everyone is safe. Some of the stuff they stole uh, stick out like sore thumb. They took a stack of foreign Pokemon cards and slabs, non-English or Japanese. My shipments had e-readers like Houndoom, other cards like Lugia, etc. Uh, if you see anything, please notify us. They even took three Pokemon notebooks, new. So it doesn't sound like they exactly knew what they were doing or what they were stealing. Uh, so it wouldn't surprise me if these show up in sort of a, a local marketplace kind of thing. Uh, whether they dump it to somebody who and then lists it, but hopefully it, it can all be traced back to the original person. Again, there's going to be monetary transactions that are made. Uh, so finding any of this stuff would be just a, a smoking gun, awesome uh, clue for that. Can be you can send it to me. You can send it to a TCG Treasure Chest and or to the uh, you know to law enforcement to to police in the area. Uh, I think any of the above. I'm going to forward it to to them. Uh, I'm sure they'll forward it to the police, but uh, but yeah, just uh, anyone that's that's in that area, that's in the California area, in the California state, uh, that has information on this, uh, please please do let let us let us know, let us know, guys. Um, I don't know if they have the address here, Lake Forest, California. Uh, again, uh, the person, the people that are doing this kind of thing. Are typically pretty big losers they're gonna be again my apologies guys but this is probably drug money um, that they're, they're looking for a quick score so they can buy some drugs 
Uh, and I would be surprised if it was anything but that. Um, just it, it takes it takes some serious uh, serious issues uh, in order to be doing something like this to 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 risk and to do something like this and and not uh, feel like it's uh, a total loss. So here we have another post TCG treasure chest saying thank you everyone for checking in on us. Definitely could have been worse, but unfortunately they were able to take about ten thousand dollars in product. I posted some slabs that were stolen, but I don't have pictures of anything else. If you see these in the wild, please let us know. Thank you uh, for the support. And here, apparently, the Simply Safe alarm system uh, failed on them. Uh, they're saying if you use Simply Safe for your alarm, please change as soon as possible. About 10k in stuff stolen last night at 11:45. We were robbed. Fortunately, they were not able to take much. These are the only ones I have pictures of. But they were. They took Brilliant Stars ETBs, random stack of foreign Pokemon cards, wrong graded, booster boxes, and Xbox games. If you see these slabs in the marketplace, please contact us. So. Typically, I, I would recommend uh, that uh, that people, um, if, if your store gets robbed, that you check the security cameras for like previous guests that were in there being sketchy. Uh, but it, it doesn't sound like they even knew what they were taking in this instance. Like, if you're taking Xbox games, I think you're just trying to grab anything or non-English, non-Japanese Pokemon cards. It doesn't it doesn't sound like you you know what you're doing. Come check out the store. Uh, so you can see there they got the the wooden, um, the wooden uh, plywood. I think it's the wooden plywood. The plywood. They got the plywood over the window there, uh, which is broken and again unfortunate. But I I think I think you need the bars on the windows, uh, especially if you're in an area that has the, uh, the terrible yeah or cage of some kind uh, to at least add an extra. Even if the alarms go off right away, the extra cage or ability to uh, to have the alarm going off and have an extra uh, difficulty to enter kind of scenario, it still sucks. You still got to get that window replaced if they smash it, uh, but preventing them from getting in, I think it makes it a, a whole lot easier. I Man, I, I don't understand how anyone can justify doing this to a, a small business, um, but uh, they find a way. They definitely find a way. People are selfish and terrible um, and... Uh, yeah, we have this is a four part video. I took it out of uh, just a dead space. It's very unfortunate that our alarm failed us. Here they are scoping out the place. So again, at the end of the video here, I will include the entirety of the security footage. You'll see them scoping it out. You'll see them breaking the window uh, and you'll see the two of them going in there. So uh, also, if, if you know of any other game stores in the area that have uh, suffered the same um, issues, please do reach out uh, and uh, and let me know about that. So there's the first one. Here's the second one. First guy breaking in. There's a spotter on the on one end. Uh, they comment on the vault. So please put your valuables in your vault. My alarm was not triggered. So yeah, that's the thing too. Uh, and it, it takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of uh, extra time and money to be able to put stuff away in something that is basically going to be impossible for them. Um, again, these are low life burglar dogs uh they're they're not exactly going to be cracking safes or, or anything like that a giant safe they clearly do not put it in a tiny safe that they can just carry out uh but uh if you have some kind of vault or uh something that you can put the, the valuable stuff in uh at least they can't make their way out with uh, with that stuff and yes it's a pain gonna be a huge pain in the ass to put that away and take it out i'll put it away every night take it out every every morning uh, but that's kind of what it comes down to and again, uh, it, it would be nice if a if a card shop can display as much stuff as possible, as much valuable stuff as possible, because it's going to be a better experience for the people that are going in there to shop. Look at this little weasel crawling around. Man, this is when you just hope that someone's like sitting in there with a baseball bat. I don't know, depending on what the laws are, where you are, um, that would be something to see. Um, I can't. What a shit human being. Um, here we go. This is the second guy. It's been 20 minutes and still no motion sensors or, or alarm. That's the thing, too. If there's like a huge alarm, you can see they're trying to be careful, trying to be quiet, trying to be sneaky deaky. Uh, they get the flashlights out. Uh, but if there was an alarm, uh, I think they would be out of there pretty quick. Um, just really unfortunate at the same time. 
guys. If you, if you can gather any information, uh, the security footage, not all that useful here, other than the fact that we know that it's two individuals. Uh, so hopefully if one gets caught, the other rats the other one out. Um, but yeah, completely unacceptable. I sort of wish he would like this was set up like Home Alone where they would be, you know, stepping on marbles and heated doorknobs and all kinds of stuff like that. Paint cans on ropes that swing down from the ceiling. All right, so uh, I guess that's it for that. I'm going to show you guys and we'll, we'll have it flash on screen. Well, I'll try and put it on screen for a, a, at least some some sort of a duration, but uh, we'll get the, the list of items that were stolen uh, and then the full footage for anyone that would like to see it. Again, I, the footage in terms of identifying the individuals, not that useful, uh, but uh, but you never know. Maybe, maybe we can trace it back to someone who took... Uh, who had been stealing and or burglarizing any of the other game stores that are in the area. Um, if we can notice the trend, if we can tag it all in on these two individuals that were doing it, uh, if they're repeat offenders. Uh, and again, if anyone sees anything on any of the cards or even thinks that they might, please send me a message. We'll look into it uh, and, uh, and hopefully uh, be able to trace it back to these absolute crook babies. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Here's the list and the video footage.
Thank you. 